Hi! Oh wow, it's so bright in here. Oh wow, I love that. Hi guys, um, Merry Christmas Eve. Uh, for you guys it's probably January, but for me it's literally December 24th. But I wanted to get this video out to you guys. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be doing a blowout routine on my type 4 hair. I've done this video in like a short form, but I was like, I feel like the way I blow up my hair is very strategic. Very efficient. So I was like, let me share this, let me share this. We're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna go get my trifold mirror and we're gonna move just to give you guys a better visual of parting. So what I actually do is I actually go in and section my hair twist it up into bantu knots, and then it's already sectioned for me to go sectioned and a little bit stretched, not like the most stretched, but just like a little bit stretched and detangled for me to just go in and have like a smooth blow drying. Cause like it used to take me like like hours on hours on hours to blow dry my hair, now it takes me like what, 45 minutes? In today's video, I'm going to be using the Not Doctor by Con Air. Honestly, I love it. It's like a two-in-one. And you can get like different attachment handles. This is also, you can just use it like this. I like the brush attachment. This video is not sponsored by the way. I just actually love this brush. The heat protectant I'm gonna be using today is the ORS Olive Oil Heat Protectant Serum. This is the one I have. Okay, so let's blow dry. We're working with freshly washed hair. It's already detangled. I moisturized it. It feels really soft right now. It's a little bit wet, which is how I like it, so it's easier for me to section. So I don't blow dry my hair as much as I used to before, because you know, damage. I actually wanted to blow up my hair because I, I wanted to get cornrows in so I can install a wig. Yes, you can corner your hair and you're like it's natural state, but I have a really, really, really sensitive scalp. It just makes the process so much easier and less painful for me. So yeah, we're gonna do it. Tell me which lane I am choosing Should I say a go? Cause I can't keep on waiting for something When you still say you don't know Hell nah And every time we meet Every time we meet I'm digging a vibe. I'm digging, I'm digging, I'm digging. And something is to fix. Something is to fix. Switching up again, again, again. I don't know what to do. Tell me, baby, what to do. Are you messing with my mind? First, you tell me. I got all my little bantu knots. Ooh. I know this may seem like a lot, but honestly for me, because I have such a sensitive scalp, like as you can see, it even hurts when I'm doing my own hair, when I'm parting it, when I'm touching it. Hello. This just helps keep me organized. You know, it's a little more pain free because I'm not getting any little strands that I'm tugging at. So now that everything's already sectioned, all I'm gonna do is literally just, I'm gonna take my heat protectant, unravel this section. And just apply it and then I can just go right in. I can detangle it a little bit if I want to. And then I just go right in and just blow dry it. There's three modes, low, medium, high, and then you have that like cool function. Okay, so this may seem counterintuitive, but I am gonna add water just so I can detangle it a little bit easier, especially when like especially when like the brush is going through my hair. Just a little bit, not a lot. And just telling you, if you have a sensitive scalp like me, this is honestly a godsend. This method, just, just doing it this way just helps so much more. Cause like one of the reasons I think I just did not like doing my own hair, it just hurts so much. I didn't like doing my own hair, I didn't like anybody else touching it, it's just so painful. But like if you find ways to make it easier, it's so fine. It's so easy. <laughs>
So as you can see, my method is kind of just unravel, dampen with water, add the heat protective, then detangle, and then go in with the heat brush. And it just makes it really smooth for me. Smooth and easy. And I think, are we halfway done? Like, it looks like we're halfway done, but the top part of my head here is where I have the most hair. So not early halfway done. I'm gonna show you guys some of what it looks like on the backside. Remember, I'm not trying to get it bone straight. I mean, I'm sure it is like put straight, but for me, like when I get my hair like cornrowed down, the most important part is the root because that's where like I feel the most pain, and I know that's where my mom has like the most trouble like detangling almost. So if I can get that part pain free, like that's the goal. That's the goal. was so big it is a little still like damp at the root which is fine because I'm just like like see I'm breaking it in half and then just going focusing on the root see like the ends dry a lot faster it's, I'm telling you that section of my head is so dense it is so dense <laughs> like, I can't tell if my hair is dry or just hot look at that little cute bob it's cooled down now and it's still damp I should have made that section smaller, honestly, that was my bad. I know it's, I know my hair's fuller here. It's still damp. That's crazy. I'm taking the brush off, and I'm just gonna focus the air in that root section. Yeah, yeah. But that worked like a charm. But that was perfect, that was the perfect fix. Finally, there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna brush the section out and move on. Final two sections, honestly, same jazz. They're them grays. I'm convinced I'm gonna go gray faster than my mom will. it guys honestly these are the results again I'm not blowing my hair out to style it any kind of way I just want to have it I just want to stretch it out so I could get it braided painlessly at that you guys see how like my hair is like kind of like thinning I've always had that Does anybody else have that and no it's not from wigs because like I don't really wear wigs like that I don't know let me know if you have that too yeah I hope you enjoyed this video just remember when you're doing your hair like just take your time like especially if you have a sensitive scalp like me <laughs> taking your time and just being very gentle with yourself is the equation it's the formula it's the secret ingredient it's the plot that's that's just how I've just done it and it's really been working out for me like I get less frustrated with my hair I'm more excited to do my hair. I hope you enjoyed this video I hope to see you in the next please comment subscribe like and share this video if it helped you Maybe it can help somebody else and remember your hair is gorgeous always your hair is gorgeous. Bye